Okay, so we're going to be talking about propagating uncertainties, which is pretty much just combining measurements by adding them, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, or raising that measurement to a certain power. So let's go ahead and begin with this example. So we have two basketball players here, one whose height is 196 plus or minus one centimeter, and the other whose height is 152 plus or minus one centimeter. If I were to ask you what the difference in their heights is, taking into account the uncertainty of the measurements, you would supply me an answer of 44 plus or minus two centimeters. So this is a function of adding. So let's go ahead and talk about how we even got this number. So when you're adding or subtracting uncertainties, if you, if this is true, so if the measurement is equivalent to the first measurement added to the second measurement or subtracted from, then we know that the absolute uncertainty of the measurement is equivalent to the addition of the two measurements, absolute uncertainties. So pretty much when you're adding or subtracting quantities, we always want to add the absolute uncertainties. Here is an example. So the first step in adding and subtracting uncertainties is to add the different measurements or subtract them. So example here, I have three measurements and those three measurements are located here and they each have various absolute uncertainties. You want to find the sum of the three measurements and here it shows as being 13.339 before taking into account the sig figs and then 13 after it's all said and done. Step two, add the absolute uncertainties which are right up here. So your total would be 0.1 which is one decimal place. Step three would be to put it all together and your total would be 13 plus or minus 0.1. Another example would be that these three measurements here, and go ahead and pause this and see if you can do this. Find the absolute, uh, find the new measurement of adding these together. So after you've paused it, then you could try it out. Okay, so now the sum of the three measurements is 2.44 rounded to one significant figure is two. And then you add the absolute uncertainties, which would give you an answer of 0.11, which is to two decimal places. And actually, it should just be 0.1 because this measurement here is only one significant figure. So your new answer would be 2 plus or minus 0.1. When multiplying, dividing, or raising, a measurement to a power, here is the equation. So if y is, is equal to a times b over c, then we know that this right here, this is either the fractional uncertainty or can also be denoted as the percentage uncertainty. So the percentage uncertainty of the measurement is equivalent to the addition of all the percentage uncertainties of your other measurements. So you want to add the individual fractional or percentage uncertainties. Here's an example. Here is a block with the length, width, and height of measurements in centimeters. If I were to ask you to find the volume of this, how would you do it? With knowing that the uncertainty of all of these measurements are to a degree of 0.1 centimeters. Okay. So here are the measurements again. The first step is to multiply the measurements because we know that volume equals length times width times height. So let's do that. 10 times five times six is 300 centimeters cubed. The second step is to calculate the percent uncertainty for all the values. So remember, to do that, you take this number here, which is 0.1 centimeters, which is the absolute uncertainty. You divide it by 10 to get, and then you multiply it by 100 in order to get the percent of one. You do this for the width and the height, and now you have all your percentage uncertainties. The second, the third step is going to be to add them. So after you add them, you're gonna get 4.7. Find the percentage, 4.7% of 300 and that is 14. This is your new 
uncertainty, your new absolute uncertainty. So now we just have to write the answer. We take the measurement that we did up here, 300 centimeters cubed plus or minus 14 centimeters cubed. So that is our answer. By 2016 curriculum standards, it is okay to have one to two sig figs for your uncertainty. Here is another example where it has the function of multiplication and division. So up here it says 16.2 plus or minus, kind of difficult to see, 0 0.2 meters times 11.8 plus or minus 0.2 meters, all over 2,555 plus or minus 5 seconds. So the first step is to multiply and divide the measurements that are not the absolute values or the absolute uncertainties. So when you do that, you will get an answer of 0 0.074818. And I'm just going to keep that figure until I decide I want to do it at the very end. So calculate the percent uncertainty for all the values. So remember, we have to take the absolute uncertainty and divide it by the measurement, multiply by 100, and I get 1.3456. For the second measurement, I have an answer of 0 0.69491, and for number three, 1.9569%. Now, step three is to add them all. Add all the percentages, and you get 3.99741. Let's find the percent 3.99741% of 0 0.0748. That's my answer, 0 0.0029900. So now I'm going to write my answer, and I'm going to make sure I take into account significant figures. So I have 0 0.0748 plus or minus 0 0.0030 centimeters cubed. Okay, so when you are raising a measurement to a power, this is pretty much saying that if your measurement is equal to that of a number that is to an n degree, okay, so some exponent, then it's saying that your percentage uncertainty is going to be equivalent to whatever that number is up here in the exponent. You're going to multiply that by the percentage uncertainty and take the absolute value. So, Remember, n can be a positive or negative whole number. It can be an integral or a decimal number. Here is an example. Let's say we have a square that has exact measurements on all sides, therefore called square, <laughs> okay, and it has a plus or minus of 0.1 meters. The first thing that you're going to want to do when you're finding the area is to calculate the measurements. So we know that area is... 2.2 meters and that is to the power of 2 which is equivalent to 4.8 meters squared. The next step is that you're going to find the percent uncertainty of measurement without the exponent. So you are going to take the 0.1 and divide it by 2.2 which is 4.5 percent uncertainty. We have only found one side. So now you're going to multiply the uncertainty by the exponent, which is 2. So you're going to take number 2 right here. So 2 is the n. And you're going to put in the percentage uncertainty, which is the 4.5 right here. And you're going to get an 9%. And then you're going to take the absolute value of the answer, which gives you a positive 9%. And then you're going to find 9% of the measurement, which the measurement was 4.8. So you're going to get 9% of 4.8 meters squared, which equals 0.4356, which equals 0.4 meters squared after you take into account the fact that you need one sig fig. So that is how you do raising measurements to a power. And you write the final answer, 4.8 plus 0.4 plus or minus 0.4 meters squared. Okay, so be ready to use this in class and rewatch the video if you need to.